Let me try to hold in my belly. <laughs> Come on, Bindo. I know the boat's gassed up and, and warmed up because I came down early the morning and gassed it up and warmed it up, get it, get it ready. Now we got life jackets if you need them, but this boat hadn't sunk lately. The, the river is a source of life in all kind of ways, spiritually and biologically and uh, physically and uh, creative, poetically. It's a source of adventure and a source of poetry, source of beauty, source of prayer, source of wonder, source of refreshment, source of recreation. Not something you'd want to put behind a wall, not something you'd want to entomb behind a concrete wall. Symbolically, aesthetically, it'd just be ugly as hell, be obscene. Obscene and obnoxious because you're telling the people on the other side, we don't, we don't want to have anything to do with you. And if you're struggling and you're suffering, we not only, we not only don't care that you're suffering, we despise you because you're suffering. We fear you because you're suffering. That's, that's toxic to our souls. That's kind of exciting. And what do they, what do they call them? Black Hawk? What are they? There's a name for those helicopters. Black Hawk, maybe or something. If it's a bunch of drug dealers, I hope they catch them. And if it's some poor guy looking for a way to survive, I hope he escapes. It's a sweet and tender honor for us to make this early morning pilgrimage here to this sacred place, La Lomita, our mother church, our grandmother church. We thank God we're here with each other as March begins. Febrero loco, marzo otro poco is going to, but to, there's a big norther coming, but this is kind of sweet now. Lord our God, no one is a stranger to you and no one is ever far from your loving care. In your great kindness, watch over refugees and exiles, those separated from their loved ones, those who have left home and are longing for a place to be home. Bring them safely to the place where they long to be, and help us always to show your kindness and compassion to strangers and to those who are struggling and suffering and in need. We ask you this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. The thing about the wall is, is a heartache, but even that's kind of an adventure, you know. The evil king is going to try to wall off your chapel, and you're going to try to fight him off and see what happens. And The bottom line, and this was in the Gospel last Sunday, you treat people the way you would want to be treated. Do unto others as you would have them do unto you. We ought to, with the billions we have and the, and the great creativity and imagination we have, we should be able to figure out some good ways to be good neighbors to these poor people. The image that all these people who come across from the south of the river are trying to hurt us is, that's extremely un, unfair and inaccurate. There are outlaws, but they're everywhere. We may have a lot more on this side already. But then they didn't come from across the river. We grew them right here. You know?